besides just the knowledge that they were out there and that they were funding one of our programs, they do provide us with a lot of support, especially the Basua Ambassador Program. This year, uh, we actually uh, had worked with a school that uh, allowed the students that did not have computers to do the online training there in school as part of their uh, class time. And we were able to enroll 30 youth into the program this year alone. In fact, it seems that the effect that it's not just that they went online and would learn about HIV prevention and HIV itself, but the fact that they could do something with that knowledge once they had it. It's very impressive because when we're holding an event that's specific to you, the youth that come in for the event are more likely to be able to talk directly to the someone their own age. But the youth seem very willing to do so and uh, not worried about why people might think they're training to become an ambassador, they just come out and do it. We give them an opportunity to select the type of activity that they uh, want to take part in um, based on their time and interest. Uh, they can come in and uh, pack condom packets, which we hand out uh, in high incidence areas. They can also come in when we're having a special event to help with registration and direction of people, as well as being there to offer uh, prevention information. Uh, we did have one Pazua ambassador. We uh, go on uh, cable access now, and we have a program uh, once a month. We had one Pazua ambassador come on and talk about her experiences as an ambassador, so they're able to do that also. I know we're over 200,000 hits on our YouTube channel. There are uh, a variety of different types of videos that uh, provide uh, either direct prevention information or uh, just a little scenario to let people know how people are affected by the death or, or by being infected. Mm -hmm.